bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. So we're here guys, um, hold that real quick. We're gonna go down here real fast, try to get a few shots of these birds, get what we can. Shooting up that way, we're not gonna get much it looks, so. Just track a bird, get a couple of them. You wanna grab some of these or no? Yeah. This would be cool wide angle. I might have to put the wide angle on my camera just to get this. This is really amazing. So we're here, Sharon. What are you thinking? I think it's uh, pretty cool. I love all the birds. It is. That sun is pretty bright over there, though. Check this out, y'all. Look how cool this is. Yeah. We just brought extra, extra, extra everything. Now, the other day we saw a picture and there was almost 30 eagles up in these trees. There's an eagle right there. Yep. There he is. That's one right there. That's another one right there. Well, I've already dropped my camera and apparently you got to trek through the woods to get here. I got cotton mouth, I'm sweating, I'm hot. I wanted to go back to the car and just strip down to the bare essentials, but Sharon and I decided just to keep walking. There's this little trail of nothing but thorns and thistles. Is that eagle right there? Is it? No. You guys hear this? It's freaking amazing down here. I just wish I knew what we were getting into. I would have just brought some chairs, one camera and one lens, and a couple chairs. There's something in the distance out there, honey. Sam, he's coming back. I got him. He's a juvenile. Come on back. This camera fells me so much, I swear.
buddy, for giving us 50 tries. <laughs> Three. Thing I'm trying on the R7 is just turning the shit. Thank you guys for joining us here at Photo Beast. Today we try to take you on an adventure to the Jordan Lake Dam where we try to embark on this quest to capture the American bald eagle in action. After weeks of planning online to find the best location and then driving for almost three hours, we finally arrived at the dam, only to be greeted by a sea of seagulls. Now don't get me wrong, seagulls are cool birds, but they weren't exactly what we had in mind. After getting some video and pictures for a few minutes, we braved that soggy 100 yard track, as you saw, through what I have dubbed the landing strip. There's basically a wall of large rocks as a divider between the dam, water, and the grass strip as we trek through it. Once at the end, we saw this bridge that we crossed that took us into a thorny, narrow path, all while carrying enough gear to equip a small film crew. Now, despite all these initial setbacks, the day turned out to be incredible. We captured stunning shots of various birds, including the great blue heron, some double crested cormorants, and there was also no shortage of turkey vultures. But the real highlight was spotting over 25 eagles, including adults and juveniles. We spent a whole 12 hours there fueled by sheer excitement and a single bottle of water. So don't try that at home, folks. But in the end, we walked away with a gathered amount of over 8,000 images, which might be considered overkill, but hey, we were happy until the calling process, that is. That only took a week or two. But we weren't sure if and when we would make it back and if the Eagles would even be there next time. We didn't want this to be a one-time trip, so we returned to Jordan Lake Dam two more times and guess what I finally achieved one of my bucket list shots that was capturing an eagle snatching a fish out of the water flying in my direction so stay tuned for that epic footage in a future video in the next week or so as well as a short of that particular shot link in the description and remember even if your initial plans go awry the adventure and the experience itself can always be amazing. This one definitely had its rewards. So with that said, I hope that you have a chance to embark on magical experiences this year, as we all probably need more outdoors and nature in our lives. Time for soul searching and to praise God and give him thanks for all the beauty in his creation. Well, that's it for this outing and on to many more. Thanks for joining us on this journey and don't forget to like and subscribe for more escapades and adventures in the wild. On to more images and to let out that inner photo beast. It's all part of the art of taking something ordinary and making it extraordinary. Until next time my friends and my photo family. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here 
I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors